I've always been an artist. I've only been an explorer for the last 35 years. For this exhibition, Exploring Beauty, Watercolour Dyes from the Wild, I invited luminaries from all sorts of fields, including Sir David Attenborough. I asked them if they would nominate the most beautiful wild place in the world that they had ever seen. My part of the show was to go to these places and to try and find what it was they had found that was so beautiful and by means of my paintings try and convey that beauty to the audience. I have to travel to these very remote places so I have to hike into them or I go in by kayak or canoe. I've developed a seven foot by four drawing board which folds up and fits on a backpack. I have a tiny paint box the size of a packet of cigarettes my mixing palette is the top of a Tupperware container. Everything is as light as possible and as simple as possible. I do find that the longer I'm absorbed into a place, the better the paintings are. The biggest one took me 23 days actually sitting in the same place at the rim of the Grand Canyon. When Sir David Attenborough suggested that tropical coral reefs were, he thought, the most beautiful places in the world, I thought I can actually devise a way of doing this. For this exhibition, I've pretty well drawn on everything I've learned in the last 30 years in order to make this particular series of work because they've te it's tested every single aspect of, of uh, the world that I know. All my work's been about wilderness for the last 30 years. In, in many ways, getting to wilder and wilder places, the more my confidence grew. These places are under threat. We can't pretend they aren't. They're very, very fragile. And if my work can be used as a kind of argument to to sustain and preserve these places, then that would be a very good thing.